Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the manufacturing facility of Merrick Machine Company, located here in Alden, Nebraska. We actually manufacture the Triad and the Ruval product lines here. And what we're going to show you today, this is our 9645. It's our complimentary machine in our steel door line system. The 9600 is the heart and soul of our steel door line. It's a walk-away feature machine. It has uh, 16 predetermined light openings. You can set it and you can walk away from it. Neat feature. The op it allows the operator to walk away and go somewhere else and do another function or another operation to, uh, you know, get production going through the plant. Anyway, back to the 9645. It's a complimentary machine. Generally, it's uh, off to the side. If you're going to run uh, uh, specials offline and so forth, you're going to do uh, double hung doors, or you have a, a transom. This table actually opens up and expands. We have a four foot distance here on top. It expands out to eight foot. I'm going to go through some of the features, show you how it works, <coughs> and actually put a door in here so you can actually see what happens. Okay, the 9645, real quick, we've got carpet on top so we don't scuff up your doors. Real common that most people have with just wood tables. We've also got two handles here on either side. Uh, there's two in this position, there's two on the others. So what you actually do is pull on this and the whole table is going to open up. I'm going to go ahead and pull on this side. You can see how it's telescoping, expanding back and forth, okay? You can actually open this up and get about an eight foot uh, girth here. We have a lip on this end, so the whole table can actually raise up. So you have a double hung door in here. The whole thing will lift up and the lip holds it in place. I'm going to shut this real quick. I got ahead of myself just for a second. One of the things I want to point out real quick, we build in some friction here. We don't want this flowing too smooth and you say, well, why not? Well, the advantage to you, the customer, is number one, the guy's working on this, he's going to be banging against it all the time. He doesn't want to just fly right in. You've got a door on top of this thing. So we want to be able, he can maneuver it, manipulate it, and do whatever he has to do, okay? So the friction is a necessary evil. So you push it in. I'm going to go just a little bit further here. What I'm going to show you is when this whole unit pops up, which I'll show you in just a second here, we have a location, we have a, a set of bearings, one on this side, one on the opposite side. And what happens here is we can actually reposition this. Uh, right now, this machine is set up to our standard Ruvo cart height. So you can actually offload it onto a four wheel cart specifically set up for doors or you can reposition the bearings. You can tell us in advance, we can do it here at the factory, or you can do it yourself. Once you reposition it, it actually take it all the way down to the floor, and you can go ahead and offload it. One guy can manipulate the door, drag it around, and so forth. I'm going to go around the opposite side here. We have a uh, foot pedal valve, which comes with the machine. It's got a nice long lead on it, about four and a half feet long. It's just going to be a, it's activated just by depressing it inward with your foot. The table comes up, raises all by itself. We have some huge red cylinders in here. They're about four inches bore. Actually comes up to a nice degree, which you can manipulate it. I'll put a door in here in just a little while, and you can see it. It doesn't throw the door at you. It's a nice, comfortable position. When you want to uh, take the door down, you press the foot pedal valve. As the air starts to escape, it starts to come down on its own. There's pinch points and so forth all around to help your operator and keep them uh, cautious. Next thing we have, we have a shock absorber down here on the bottom. Try and get a good shot of that for you, best we can. But the shock absorber, when the table actually comes up in the upper position, this is what slows it down and gives you that nice, smooth motion right at the very end. It doesn't uh, propel the door across the room, okay? Once again, I'm going to do this one more time, and you'll see what I'm talking about. The whole table comes up. We actually have a welded steel stop in there that comes against the, uh, the shock absorber. There it comes up. Slows it right down at the very end of its travel. Okay, I'm going to bring it down one more time. On this side of the machine, you're not able to see it from where the camera's positioned. But for a transom, if you're going to, uh, we have a lever valve over here. All you have to do is lift the lever valve up. The transom is going to come in the upper position. 
okay? Uh, if you're doing a double hung and so forth and you want to transom on this, go ahead and lay it on here. Okay, it works really well. Now, we built in a safety device here. Transit has to be down before you open this up, before you close it up. You need to get the transom, uh, think about what's going on here. I'll give you an example. If the transom was up and tried to pull this out, number one, you need to put your doors in here first. Pull it all the way out first, okay, which I'm going to do for you. Then you want to come to the side and lift your transit up. Generally, you're going to put that in when there's a double hung situation. And that's why we've incorporated those uh, steel stops in here to let that happen for you. Real quick, you can see this expands, gives you a lot of flexibility. I'm going to go ahead and raise this, fully extended, so you can see what's going on here. It doesn't take a great deal of time to lift this. It moves just as fast with weight on it or without. Uh, solid, heavy duty steel construction. Construction. I'm going to go ahead and lower it down one more time. This machine actually comes with four sets of leveling feet. I'm going to walk around in front of the camera here for a second. The leveling feet themselves leveling feet themselves actually are in this position. Uh, at, at each one of the four legs they're going to be in there and that allows you to anchor it get it in line where it's supposed to be. We, uh, we require that everything gets anchored. We also have on this side of the machine, which you're not going to see in the camera shot, we have a regulator and an FLR unit. So you, you've got air coming into this for the cylinders going up and down. So you need to maintain it. We also have instructions for you uh, for that very purpose. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this down a little bit. Grab the door, stick it on here so you can actually see the operation. We happen to have a pre-hung door all set up. We just grabbed for this video specifically. Once again, the carpet's on the working surface so you can move things around and not worry about uh, damaging the paint and so forth. I'm going to stand over on this side. I've activated the foot pedal. It's going to come up nice and even and constant. And once again, it's, it's all set up for cart height. So our carts actually come in right at this height, and an operator just has to walk the door right onto the cart, get in in position. Once again, we can adjust this down through the series of bearings and take this right to the floor. So you're only about an inch and, inch and a half, an inch and a quarter off of the floor. And now we can just walk it off the floor and walk it back and forth or pick it up and take it to uh, the inside of a semi or another cart or what have you. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Walk off the camera here. Remember this one more time. One of the things I failed to mention on the uh, on this side, we have two black handles. Those two black handles were for pulling the table apart to expand it out. We also have two black handles on the opposite side, They're directly across from one another. Okay, so you can pull from that side, or you can pull from this side. Works really well. Uh, we have wood underneath if it needs to be replaced. Everything else is mechanical linkage inside made out of solid steel. I'm going to raise this up for the last go around so you guys can see what's going on. Once again, this is a 9645. It's built by uh, Merrick Machine Company. We have the Ruvo product line and the Triad product line. If you're in the millwork industry, we strongly encourage you to look at this new model. We've had it out of several locations. It's doing quite well for us, and I'm sure it'll do well for you. Once again, my name is Russ Merrick. If you have any questions, please call our sales department at 1-800-568-7423. If you call extension 133, that's our uh, assistant sales manager, and he'll give you assistance. Once again, thank you for your time.